Hello everybody. I've never been a big fan of using petroleum um, cotton balls and this is basically why. I never saw that petroleum jelly was particularly um, well suited for a um, starter fuel. Because if you take and look at it, trying to start it can be a pain. Now my goal is to always use a um, fire stick of this sort in my knife and that's what I'd primarily like to take because I always have it and it's very simple and don't have to worry about it getting wet or, or anything else. But you can see it's not just a problem of a spark doesn't catch it on fire. It doesn't really matter how many sparks you throw at it. Um, you're not going to get it to light with just a spark. So if you got to take and, and use a flame or something like that to get it to start, it, it really loses uh, its effectiveness or, or it's um, it's just not as good of a starter and that's what I was always thinking about. Now it is petroleum jelly, it is petroleum based so it certainly can start and it can burn in if you get enough heat behind it but I'm not really interested in starting a fire to get my fire starter going. Um, you know you can take it to the uh, absurd and and to use a torch or, or something like that but even that doesn't get a glob of petroleum jelly hot enough to catch on fire. Um, so taking a propane torch like this and putting it onto it, it it's going to melt the fuel, or melt the petroleum jelly, but it doesn't actually catch it on fire. And then, um, you know, so, so even that isn't an option. And, and then I decided to really take it to the extreme. And could I get it hot enough to catch on fire? And as a glob laying in the bottom of a pan, it just doesn't catch on a uh, catch up. So doing some research on YouTube and different places, I finally realized that it's not it uh, is a very good wicking material, but it just uh, isn't a very good um, material on its own. So I took some uh, contractor cloth or fiberglass cloth that wouldn't burn on its own and set it up to wick. And at that point, it becomes a very good fuel. So the point of, because uh, this is just a fiberglass cloth, so it itself won't burn, but it is wicking up that Vaseline and letting it burn. So that shows us the problem that you can have with uh, trying to use a cotton ball with Vaseline in it if, if it's not done properly. Um, so we need to understand that we're not trying to light the Vaseline, we're trying to use it as a fuel in our candle and use the um, cotton ball as the candle itself. And you, you'll see a, a cotton ball that looks like that and you'll say, they'll wonder why when they go to light it with a sparker or even a match, they can't get it to burn. And the simple reason is, is because they have taken away its wicking properties. So the way that I have started making these cotton balls is I'll just go and I'll do a single side of it through there and that gives me wicking capability on one side and enough um, Vaseline that it'll burn for a while on the other side. Now the other interesting thing that I have recently discovered, well here I'm going to make a couple of these, so there's one and I'm going to have a second one that I'm going to be using later and I'm basically just working it into half of it. So what I would do at this point is, after it's been in the, the bag for a while and it's going to get mushed up and that's going to get worked in there more, so I'll probably take like half of it, something that has that in there, open that all up, and when you, like that, basically the cotton ball burns and then it wicks out the uh, Vaseline. So if we took a cotton ball that doesn't have the Vaseline and just lit, um, light it up here. You can see how quickly just the cotton burns up and you don't have near as good of, of a starter as if you have um, the Vaseline in it that's going to wick out. It's burning much higher, burning much hotter, and it's burning much longer. It makes it a good fire starter. The cotton ball by itself just isn't isn't that good. 
Okay, so given that, I'll push that to the side for a second here. An interesting thing that I have found is that very similar to Vaseline, if you take shortening, it has many of the same principles. Now, if I go to light this right now, again, it won't burn. I can't get it to light out directly, but it will work as a wicking fuel. So if I take a cotton ball, and I do the same thing with it, and I just work it through part of it, I have half of it with it, and as it sits in the bag, again, that's going to work through. I'm going to take one, and um, I'm going to work it all the way through, like I did the uh, Vaseline one, just to show that it won't light. So basically, as it's sitting in the bag and it's rubbing up against the other ones, all of it gets mixed in there. And it, it basically gets a shell. And at this point, I probably could open it up and get it to light. But that's not really the point of this right at this point. Just showing that it, that won't light. But if I take, um, set that to the side as well. I'm going to go ahead and clear this spot off now. Hopefully it has, it's basically clean at this point. Now I'm going to take this um, cotton ball that I made out of the Crisco, and I'm going to take the one that I made out of the, out of the uh, Vaseline, and then just for a control, we'll put a third one over here. And we're going to light those three up. And we're just going to tie them and see how long they will burn. And if I wanted to get more accurate on this, I probably should have measured the two cotton balls that I put... Uh, uh, Crisco and Vaseline to see if I got similar amounts. So this is just basically by eye. Um, we can see a little bit of the Crisco is coming out, uh, melting out of there, which is interesting. But basically, uh, I'll hit the lap. About 40 seconds, we uh, burned out of our cotton ball. And then the um, two uh, Vaseline and Crisco ball cotton balls went on to burn for a couple of minutes before they had burned out completely. With this is if I did take one of these uh, balls and they got maybe it was in the bottom of the bag and eventually it became so that it won't light up. There aren't any open spots on it. So if I just take an edge of it, I'm going to pull an edge out here and um, set that so it will stand up. Okay. So what you can do is either with a um, another cotton ball, if you had it, probably don't if this is the, your, the bottom of your line, take a, just a small piece of cotton and you can squeeze that squeeze that edge and just the heat from your fingers and squeezing that um, you can usually squeeze enough out of there that then it will light up 
Now this is not something that I really expected to work on the Vaseline one, but um, turns out it works uh, just the same. So once again, the, the properties of the Crisco and the Vaseline and their usage is, is very similar. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah. Oh, there you go. should kick my timer off again and see how long one of these will burn. Okay, let's start that again. It's been going for a few seconds, but not that long. And it went on to burn for about five minutes. Uh, plenty of time to start any type of fire. I think I'm going to give Crisco a shot. It seems to burn at least as well as the Vaseline, a little less smoke from it, um, made in similar way and at least as many uh, multiple uses, and probably a little bit easier to clean up in my opinion. Anyway, I hope you found this useful and thank you for joining me.